Do you ever have trouble falling asleep at night? Do you toss and turn and wake up feeling groggy? How about getting tired in the middle of the day? Do you find it's hard to stay focused at work? It could be because your sleep-wake cycle, also known as your circadian cycle, is off balance. Your circadian cycle is affected by the amount of light you're exposed to during the day and night. Before people had electric lights, we depended on sunlight to regulate the hormones that help us either stay awake or fall asleep. Today, we're surrounded by light from TVs, cell phones, computers, and light fixtures in our homes. The color, brightness, and duration of exposure to these lights can interfere with our circadian sleep cycle. During the day, the sun has a bright whitish-blue color that stimulates our bodies and suppresses the sleep hormone melatonin. As the bright bluish light of the sun fades, our bodies start producing more melatonin, which causes us to become sleepy. Electronic devices with screens emit very whitish blue light and may disrupt our sleep cycles when used at night. The blue light from screens enters our eyes, stimulates our bodies, and can suppress melatonin, waking us up when we really want to sleep. Fortunately, many smart devices offer easy-to-use blue light filters that reduce blue light and the negative impact on our sleep cycles. The color of lights in our homes can also affect our circadian cycle. New light bulbs and fixtures include a label indicating whether it has a cool bluish-white light or a warm yellow-orange light. This is known as color temperature. Cool bluish-white light has a color temperature of 4,000 degrees Kelvin or higher and is best for daytime. Warm yellow-orange light has a color temperature of 2,700 degrees Kelvin or lower, which is best for nighttime. With programmable lighting systems and smart light bulbs, you can easily program the color temperature of your light fixtures to match your circadian cycle throughout the day. The brightness of light is another factor that can impact your circadian cycle. Brightness is measured in lumens. The higher the lumens, the brighter the light, and the more it can stimulate you and keep you awake. When buying lights, look for the lumens on the packaging. Generally, anything above 800 lumens is considered bright light. The last factor that impacts our circadian cycle is the length of time you are exposed to light. For example, if you glance at your cell phone for only 10 seconds, you may not be that stimulated. However, if you sit under dim lights all day long, you may feel drowsy. Now that you know how much lighting can affect you, pay attention to the lights that surround you day and night. The color temperature, intensity, and duration can all impact your ability to stay alert or fall asleep. A simple rule of thumb is bright bluish white light will keep you alert and stimulated, and dim, warm, orange yellowish light will help you relax. To find out more about circadian lighting, visit smud.org slash learn.